Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. Instead of a tutorial today, I wanted to do a quick software recommendation. I want to give a quick shout out to David Aryev before I go any further. I was watching one of his tutorials, I think it was the Mars one, and he was talking about Pure Ref. And ever since then, I've been using it and absolutely loving it. So go ahead and head over to pureref.com and you can download this. You can uh, name your price on this one. So if you want to just test it out, you can download it for free or throw them some bucks. But let's go ahead and open up Pure Ref and I'll show you what it does. So Pure Ref is basically a canvas where you can easily navigate and display all of your reference images. Um, before you get started on a project, a lot of times you'll find images that speak to you as far as color or texture or different design elements. And you want to kind of lay them out so that you can get a visual direction for where you want your piece to head. It's going to be really useful for dealing with clients and giving them an idea of what kind of direction you're going in. I'll go ahead and load up one of the recent ones that I've done. And I was doing a little cube world type scene. And these were some of the reference images that I gave to the client. So let me go ahead and highlight and delete all these. And I'm just going to show you how you can add these. One way that you can add them is just from your computer. You can just click and drag and it's going to load all of them up and it's going to optimize them and kind of put them in a grid. So if you highlight all of them, hit spacebar, it'll frame them up. Now I can't show you this because I only have one screen for the tutorial, but this will always be living on my secondary screen and then I'll be working on my left hand screen. So it's a really great way to always have your images up in front of you. Now to navigate around your scenes very easy, you can click one of the images and just hit spacebar and that will bring it full frame. You can zoom out. If you right click, you can kind of pan around really easy and just start zooming in on some of the different elements. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do as far as shortcuts too, which they list on the website. For instance, this really long strip, let's say that it's way too long, but we only want the top part. If you hold down C and then just click and drag, you can actually crop images inside of Pure Ref. Um, if you have a messy scene, you can right click, you can go to images, you can align them on um, left, right, top, you can also arrange them, you can arrange them optimal and also put them in a nice grid. Lots of different features like this to make it very easy to navigate. If you want, have a big image that you want to scale up or down, um, all you have to do is hit control and option and then you can right or left click and just kind of click and drag just to position them. All you have to do is click and drag. So you can see that it's really easy just to navigate, to zoom in, to kind of navigate around here. It's a very, very handy tool. All right, a couple other things. If you want to change the uh, the overlay, you can hit option one will give you a dark background. Option two will give you a light background. Option three will give you a transparent background. And uh, I think what you can do is actually stick this transparent background and have it always on top so that you could even have this in Cinema 4D. If you only have one monitor, you could just have it living on the side here. So that's also very handy. Now, one thing that you do want to know is that this pure ref uh, file, if you save it, this isn't actually having all these images contained in the file. They're just referencing them on your hard drive. However, if you go to properties uh, under settings and let's see under preferences, you can embed the local images into the save file by making sure this is checked on, which I've done. If you have this checked on, then when you save it, all these images will be baked into that file and you could save that pure ref file to a client or to anybody that you're collaborating with. And that way all the images will be inside of it. So that is pure ref. There's a lot of other things that you can do with it. Um, another thing you can do is uh, just click and drag images into your scene. You can click control option, just drag it and then make it a little bit bigger. So you can drag images straight from a web browser or your hard drive. And then I would also recommend you going to the Pure Ref website and clicking on Pure Ref, and they have a list of all the different hotkey uh, shortcuts. And there's a lot of different features that you can do in here. So there you go. That is Pure Ref, one of my favorite pieces of software for this year, and something that I really, really enjoy using in my design workflow. I hope you found that useful, and thank you as always for checking out the Pixel Lab. Talk to you next time.